Hi everybody and welcome to Corel Painter's Essential 6. I'm here in this video today to show you the combustion brush pack. What I find useful with this brush pack is um, to use it with the intention of course to help something combust. Uh, what I have here is a photo of something that looks like it may have combusted in the past and so what we're going to do is uh, as you can see I, I lowered the brightness and kind of added a blue overlay to this photo to work with with you know brighter brushes that glow um, and see what we can do as far as bringing the combust back to this. Uh, let's say you had a photo like this or an illustration and you needed something uh, you know to explode or you know you needed to add a flame to something this is the perfect pack to do that with because it's it, that's exactly its intention here. So what I like to do with this brush pack I found is I like to start off with the smoke brushes and I have um, we're just going to kind of go up and I'm going to show you what each brush does while we kind of add a combustion to this. So this one wet smoke is is almost like a very light and subtle pull the pigment around. I'm not going to do it too much but just enough to kind of show there's something going on around here. There's just a little a little pull. And then I'm going to go up to my thin smoke which is kind of like the wet smoke but let's let's do some color picking. I'm going to color pick right that right there, excuse me. I kind of want some of the brighter areas that I might imagine I would see kind of fume in this kind of half daylight going on here. I don't know if I would actually see white. Hmm. Let's try some right there. You can see now we're starting to pull things off a little bit. This almost looks like it's cooling off maybe. And let's go up to smother here. And what you can see the smother brush doing is kind of like a good in-between of this the thin smoke and the wet smoke. It's just going to give us that subtle pull, but as you can see it's almost like a little Tasmanian devil of that nature. So I don't know if you would always use all of these, but you can see each one has its own little nook of being used. This one looks like it you actually get to choose color, so that's kind of helpful too. There we go. Now let's go up to the smoke mix and the incense, and I feel like those are kind of the big bad ones of smoke brushes. I don't want to overdo it, but I do want to show you what these do. So this would be good to push and pull. Let's actually go like this. Oh, no, it doesn't do that very well. It has to be on the same layer. There we go. But since I have these layers duplicated, I can actually go and back out of certain areas, and that's pretty useful. You can make different subtle changes and then go and then go back and kind of back out, of course. So I really like that one. You can you can that just looks so like some of this there we go. That's so cool. Kind of the the before and after this and this you can see this just looks like it's again it's cooling off. And we'll add some of these little incense trails. Kind of like when your food comes or something really hot is going on here. All right, enough of the smoke. Now let's go ahead and look at some of these different areas here. I'm going to copy and paste that layer. So as we can see, this one, we're going to go from the top down. Billowing is pretty good for general. I like to use this as like that hot hue area. Kind of like the smoke, but this one has got a little more of, more of the the flame in it. All right. Now let's go down to electric here. 
And this is where we would see maybe some sparks flying. So as you can see, as we go down these brushes, it's almost just like we're making a little stack of what's going on. There we go. Almost like something's going on with the engine. And you know, this is for demonstration purposes. Excuse me, this isn't necessarily my best edit. So then let's go over to flare here. Let's see what we can do with this. There we go. Let's add some warmth in there. And one thing I'd like to point out is I've made this picture fairly small so you can really see the strokes that's, that's going on. And you can, you can see exactly what this brush does. If this picture were bigger, these strokes would be much smaller and, and concentrated in one area. So last but not least, of course, I'm going to try the, the heat trail and the heat wave. And these, I find, are kind of, this is, this is your flame. This is where your combustion really happens. And, you know, of course, you've got a lot to play with on this. And let's go ahead and add the heat wave. So you can see exactly what I've done here in this picture. Again, I started with the smoke, and then I came up and I, I added the fumes to give this a com recombusted look. So if you needed to to add more of a flame flare to something, not exactly catch it on fire, but just kind of like, you know, a subtle, like if you were to light a firework or um, you needed to make that, that heat change. These are the perfect brushes for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video going over the different brushes and, and kind of what they can be used for. I know I really enjoy these and I find them to be pretty useful. So I hope to see what you've created around the internet and um, I guess I will see you there. Thank you so much.